Hello, welcome to episode four of How to Beat Digital Distraction and Write More. My name is Andy Tattersall. I'm an information specialist at the School of Health and Related Research at the University of Sheffield. So in this short series of podcasts, I want you to help um, help you deal with the issue of digital distraction and information overload. And um, in the last episode, I looked at a organic a- approach to a technological problem of digital distraction and information overload. In this one, we're going to look at how we do this from a technical technological kind of perspective. And so how can we use technology to deal with information overload, digital distraction? Now, that might seem a little bit ironic to use technology to deal with issues often caused by to- technology, such as social media. But as the saying, fight fire with fire goes, sometimes you just need to use similar tools to that of your foe. <clears throat> and in this case, that being technology. So a great tool to structure in your day when you have lots of writing to do and you want to block out email and social media is a tool called Forest. And I suggest you do a search for the word Forest app and then you'll find it. Uh, Forest is an Android and Apple app and it also works as a Chrome extension and it works very simply by blocking out any troublesome sites on Chrome and it plants a tiny virtual tree which grows for a set period of time. You dictate that actual period of time so for example you start your morning by setting a forest to 25 minutes and you work on a single task. And while you focus on writing a tiny little sapling, digital sapling grows into a virtual tree. At any point you can stop the app and that will kill your tree and that's usually effective enough to keep you on task. Uh, On the Chrome version what it does is is you can tell it what to block out so you can say I don't want it to access email, I don't want to access Facebook, Twitter etc and it will stop you from getting to those sites. It will ask you whether you want to kill your tree and quite often you'll just think no I'll stick with my writing task and keep growing the tree. The site also used funds uh, from its sponsorship to donate to a real charity called Trees for the Future that plant real trees. So you can actually pay to upgrade your tree to different species if you want to donate funds to this great cause. Um, Another useful tool that you can employ is one called Stay Focused, which is available on the Chrome Web Store and also blocks out troublesome sites that might distract you from carrying out your work. If you do search for stay focused, there's no E in the word focused. It's been around for a long time. It's quite established. um, So it's one worth tracking down. One of the biggest problems that you can face when trying to stay on track with a research uh, uh, project is um, actually just trying to stay on track. And it can be really easy to find yourself going down a rabbit hole of internet web links that will take you further and further away from your actual goal of undertaking the research. And each new web link is going to promise to take you to more interesting websites and articles for your research. And you can easily end up with loads and loads of browser windows open and uh, start to actually wonder where you actually started off at the beginning and is any of this stuff really useful. So rather than find yourself going off track and opening up, up to more procrastination, which is what quite often can happen, consider parking that interesting article and saving it for later. So using a tool like Evernote, which I mentioned in a previous podcast, and Pocket can save the article uh, to your collection. It will also remove any intrusive hyperlinks and any supplementary content. So you can add these tools to your web browser by adding them to your um, uh, Chrome. And you just do this by the single click of a button, add it as an extension. And when you go to a a particular website that you've suddenly got taken down to, uh, you can just add it to a future reading list and then go back later on um, and read them at a more suitable time and perhaps give yourself a quiet hour in a nice corner of the library to read the articles and just use that time now to focus on your writing. You can use tools like Scoop It and Wakelet, uh, W-A-K-E-L-E-T, to curate your interests and web links. So again, instead of going down these rabbit holes and reading non-essential material that can be avoided, you can save it for later. Uh, Finally, if you're struggling to stay on track and want to get things done, then you could always buy yourself a Pavlock, uh, P-A-V-L-O-K. And Pavlock is a habit-changing wrist device that, among other features, will give you a little shock 
should you spend too much time on the likes of Facebook. But hopefully you're not going to go need to go that far. Uh, I'm not going to suggest you go out and buy one. But to just keep in mind how much you could get done and how happy you'd be if you didn't spend all day jumping in and reading Donald Trump's tweets. So think about how you could use some of these tools just to block out some of that distraction so at a different point of the time you can then go and have a look at social media and check your emails and focus first and foremost on, on getting that writing done because you'll feel so much better for it. So hopefully that's useful. Uh, so my name is Andy Tattersall. You can find more about uh, me and these podcasts via the web links on the image attached to this podcast. Mm-hmm.